This is where the computer nerd in me is kind of freaking out. Like, I, I don't see like a path. A user that's gonna be using a Chromebook doesn't need to really have full access to a file system. I think it's a picture of a penguin. Okay, I'm a penguin, people. Yeah, I I'm a sucker for cute animals, so uh, that's my weakness. And she spilled her ice cream. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really, that's just great. You know, I'm kind of great today too because Chromebook, like what? I've never touched one of these things. I've seriously never used a Chromebook before, but there was this place that was just recycling a bunch of stuff like these old Lenovo notebooks that I threw some Linux stuff on if you want to check that out. And this was uh, among the pile. I mean, one man's trash is another man's treasure, right? So I thought I'd boot it up, see what's on here, maybe reset it if I have to and then explore it because I have not done so. But before we explore the software, which again, I've never used before, let's take a look at the computer itself. I mean, just by looking at it, I mean, I could tell it's, you know, definitely a cheaper kind of feeling thing, but it was probably like, what, 300 bucks or so? Definitely has kind of a, like a MacBook Air style with the chiclet keyboard and the whole like quasi silver look. It, it looks like it's kind of like an aluminum, but no, it's all plastic, but you know, for the price, can't really go wrong with that, right? We have a headphone jack and a little SD card door on the side there, which is nice. Nothing on that side. And on the back, it looks like plenty of IO to go. Not sure if that's like a little light or something, but that looks like the very tiny power port. That's smaller than what I'm used to seeing on computers. But again, not sure if that's a light or something. Full size HDMI, looks like we have USB. And under this door, I noticed there was like, um, Again, I just kind of glanced at this, but it looked like there was another card in there, so I'm not sure if that's like the main storage for the device. Like maybe there's not an internal SSD or anything, but instead it's like this micro SD card that's on the back there. So if I remove that, uh, probably nothing would happen. Actually, I'm curious. I'm going to remove this and boot it up. Eh, okay, it's kind of stuck. Maybe, maybe it doesn't come out. It looks a little bit bigger than a normal micro. Oh, it feels all rubbery. Okay, so I'm really not sure what that is. <laughs> and, uh... There's the top, Samsung Chrome. Let's have a little peeky poo. Oh, <laughs> the whole thing just wanted to flip up. Yeah, okay. Oh, it automatically turns on when you open it. Okay. Maybe that's where Apple got the inspiration for those new MacBook Pros, where you just open them and, I think they just turn on when you open them, don't they? Okay, so we have two users here and this person's labeled as the owner. That, one, that person's not. So I'm guessing you have one owner and then you can have multiple other users on here. Add supervised user, all right. Again, this is all new to me. <laughs> all new to me. Do we get brightness control here? Oh. oh, look at that, isn't that nice? So I guess I can add a person. No, yeah, I guess I could just sign in with my account here. Uh, but then I'm gonna have those other accounts on here still. So uh, I may have to wipe them out. And there's also browse as a guest. So I guess uh, you can have an owner, other user accounts in addition to the owner, or you can just browse as a guest. Pretty cool. Okay. Well, let's look at a way to just wipe this out. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I have no idea what happened there. And before I continue, I just want to say how impressed I am with the battery life on this thing, because I just realized it's not plugged in. <laughs> and it's just been sitting in my junk pile for probably over a month. Still turns on. Okay, I plugged in the power and it like shut down on me. I don't know why. <laughs> That was mean. Okay, so after a quick hit of the Google machine, I found out we're gonna do something called a power wash, which I guess is a way to reset to factory defaults. So we have to hold down Control, Alt, Shift and R. It's a lot of buttons. And well, the instructions said click restart, but I just see this. All user accounts and local data will be removed. I mean, that's good. All right, well, that's what we want. Confirm power wash. Yes, this cannot be undone. Hmm, was it really that easy? Control, Alt, Shift, R, and then you click two more buttons or three buttons, however many that was. Power wash in progress. Okay, Um. so does that mean I could just go up to like any Chromebook owned by anybody and just wipe out their data that easily? Like it didn't even ask me for a password or anything. I mean, hang on, I'm looking at this article and it says like if you're on like a school network or probably something that's like registered with a domain, kind of like, a, I don't know, like 
a Windows workstation under like Active Directory or whatever, you know, then you couldn't do it. But, you know, maybe that's where the security kicks in if you're on a domain, you can't do it. But yeah, this thing definitely wasn't. This was just all local data. And yeah, I apparently just reset it just like that. Hmm. I don't know if that's very secure. I mean, ideally, your stuff should be in the cloud or backed up somewhere, and that stuff won't be touched, obviously. But <laughs> in terms of local data, yeah, I could just ruin your day. I just wiped your shit out. But oh, well, maybe it's easy to get stuff back with everything being, you know, Google accounts and everything. So yeah, let's connect to Deep 13. Oh, and by the way, I should probably mention why I'm doing this. Just like with those Lenovo notebooks, I've come across some people that don't have a computer. And they might have a phone, but they want a computer, but they can't really afford anything. So I've been taking these old computers that have been recycled or, you know, they've been wrapped up, ready to get recycled. But I was able to get my hands on a few of them, and I'm basically just cleaning them up and giving them away to people I know that are in need of a computer. But I'm going to sign in with my own Google account and just experiment with the system, because again, I have not used... I think it's called Chrome OS. I have not used that before, so this will be new to me. Okay, all I wanted to do was type in my email and something went wrong. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Okay, I've been trying a few times and one time it let me type in my password, but now it's just being kind of a bitch. <laughs> it is not letting me in, um, not even past my email. Okay, uh, well, you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over, over and over again and expecting a different result. Well, I am the epitome of insanity. So I'm gonna do the same thing over and over again and expect it to just work. You just watch. I will break the rules of insanity. You just watch. Ha ha, told you it would work. Suck it, insanity. And suck it, dictionaries. Suck my dictionary. Please wait while I try to connect to you. It's probably doing a bunch of stuff right now. But yeah, this is the first time I've used my Google account with a Chromebook. Actually, how many Chromebook users do we have out there? Show of hands. And by user, I just mean someone that owns one. It doesn't have to be your daily driver, but let me know if it is your daily driver. Like maybe it's all you need. Maybe you can get by just by using a Chromebook. White screen. Yes, you're signed in. Chrome sync. Bookmarks will sync. Well, I don't really use Chrome, but if I did, it would do that. Uh, yeah, accept and continue, sure. I agree to be turned into a Sentai pad. Howdy, computer! Yes, the account name is Computer Clan, so the first name is just Computer. Um, and I'm looking at this screen kind of on an angle so you guys can see it, and yeah, the color is like totally lost. So not really a high angle of view on this thing, but again, cheaper computer. Can't really complain, right? Let's take a tour. Get to your apps fast. Fabulous! Can't click it, but okay. We'll just do next. Check your Chromebook status. I think it's a picture of a penguin. Okay, I'm a penguin, people. Okay, so yeah, it looks like down here is a type of panel of sorts. I'm not sure if they technically call it a panel. Let's call this shelf. All right. I like shelf. Shelf is good. All right, so we have a shelf. We have like some, we have a Chrome, Gmail, looks like Google Docs, YouTube, and it looks like some kind of menu. Do they, do they call this the menu? What do they call this? Let's see. Launcher. All right, so this is the launcher. And you can go full screen with that. Okay, that looks cool. I dig that. And over here we have a yeah, notification area. And I'm not sure exactly what they call this, but on Windows you typically would call that a system tray. And it looks like we have some quick access to settings over there. All right, do we have like an alt tab feature? I'm actually curious about that. I just want to explore this thing now. Let's see. Okay, so yep. Oh, that's kind of cool. You drag a window down there. The shelf goes semi-transparent. It kind of snaps right there and then it fades away and when you're in full screen it goes opaque. And that's interesting, Adblock is disabled. Wait a minute, I just did a power wash, so is Adblock like installed by default? Oh, you know what? I think it, ah, it synced from back in the old days when I would stream Computer Clan Live and we used Chrome just when we were doing live broadcasts so we had Adblock on so we didn't get a bunch of crap popping up while we were streaming. But yeah, I typically don't use Adblock. Um, I know there's websites that are full of clickbaity crap, but I just stay away from that. But I, I, I don't use Adblock. I don't recommend you use it because there's certain people, maybe like the person you're watching, that make part of their living off of advertising. Nervous laughter. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's go to YouTube, my stomping ground. And let's see how this works. Oh, look, a Captain Disillusion episode. But yeah, that is cool that like, like I'm, I'm signed into like all my Google shit just automatically, and even my bookmarks, I only had the two, you know, those sync, that's really cool. Actually, I can just go to the channel right from here. I can see myself getting by with just using this, like if I had to, 
um, aside from the fact that like I work in the video industry, like you know, I couldn't get by without Final Cut Pro and Photoshop and After Effects and stuff. But honestly, if I wasn't into all that, I could probably get by just with the Chromebook. Because there's some good web-based applications like Google Docs and stuff. Like, I use that at the office all the time, and it works. Yeah, I mean, let's listen to how good the speakers sound on here. The Computer Clan is a group of like-minded people. Very tinny, but again, cheap-ass notebook. But it works. I mean, the battery was lasting for, like, over a month, and, you know, it's not a terrible product for what it is. So I think whoever ends up getting this, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be fine for them. But I'm guessing, so I'm guessing a lot of stuff just runs inside of Chrome here. It is an operating system itself, but it looks like when you click things, they just open up in Chrome. Actually, I don't know. Are there other applications that run like on the system, like outside of the web browser? I'm guessing no. Maybe aside from small things like calculator. Yeah, that looks like it runs as a native application here. So this is what the interface looks like. Yeah, it's, it's kind of Windows-esque, but it also has that um, material look. Little hamburger menu there. Appearance. Show home button. Minimize just kind of shrinks down like that. I mean, the animation seems smooth. I mean, I would expect this to perform decently because, you know, it's kind of like a hardware software made for each other solution. Let's see, right click. Set wallpaper. What kind of wallpapers you got here? Ooh, dark mode, yes. Ooh, surprise me. Okay. It's kind of like the I'm feeling lucky feature. Look at that guy looking for a Coca-Cola. Is that a fox? Or is it a, is that a, looks like a fox. Yeah, I, I'm a sucker for cute animals, so uh, that's my weakness. Let's do what I like to do. Let's uh, let's throw one of my wallpapers on here. Let's go to thecomputerclan.com. I actually have a bunch of new photos that I shot that I like haven't even posted anywhere. I really should get to that sometime. <laughs> um, but yeah, the wallpaper gallery still has some decent stuff in it. Let's see, what, what do we got? Um, okay, here we go. Yeah, that is really high res. <laughs> So I'm guessing I could just, let's see. Oh, search Google for image. You can do reverse search right from a right click. Not too shabby. Save image as. Now this part is gonna be interesting because a lot of this stuff I'm guessing is cloud-based. So yeah, there's my drive, but is there like local storage? Like how does the file system work on here? That's a question I have. <laughs> so save. Okay, nice notification. Show in folder. Okay, so there is like a file browser, it looks like. It's called Files, that makes sense. Oh, so we can Alt-Tab, that's pretty cool. All right, right click, there you go, set wallpaper. And bon appetit, well that worked pretty well. Yeah, still getting used to this, so, yeah, Google Drive shared with me, my drive offline recent add new service. So I guess you can have other cloud services on here. Install from the web store, okay, I got gotcha. you. This is where the computer nerd in me is kind of freaking out. Like I, I don't see like a path as to where this is stored, but you know, again, a user that's going to be using a Chromebook doesn't need to really have full access to a file system. So I just jab my elbow against my table. That hurt. Uh, yeah, so that makes sense. But let's see. Uh, get info. Oh, it has my metadata there. Oh, you can press the space bar for that. Okay, so if you press space bar, it gives you metadata and a larger preview. So it's kind of like quick look kind of. You press the space bar. Sweet. It's got my f-stop. Yeah, I shot it at f3. 24 millimeter ISO 100 Canon EOS 70 Mark II. Actually, right here, sitting off to the side, that's exactly what I shot that photo with. Same lens and body. Well, let's see what's up in the web store, because I'm guessing you can throw other applications on here. Or as we called them in the old days, programs. Keep, which is their note taker. Ah, yes, a speed test. Grammarly, yes, I've used Grammarly before, that's good. Nimbus, which is a type of rain-bearing cloud, as I have learned. Ginger, which I think is kind of like Grammarly. It's interesting because their logos are also very similar, the Gs. But yeah, I'm recognizing a lot of these applications, and I guess they just all run on Chrome through the browser and stuff, which is interesting. It really actually is like a full circle scenario. Think about it for a while. Back in the day on our laptops, on our desktops, our third party apps 99% of the time were native applications. We didn't really run third party apps in browsers. Software as a service was a totally foreign concept to most people back then. And web applications, HTML5, like that stuff was non-existent. And then on our phones, like here comes along the iPhone, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then people start writing third party web applications for the phone. So in short, there was a time when most third party applications on computers were native. 
and most third-party applications on phones were on the web. And then it changed, and now it's like all the applications are native apps you install on your phone through the App Store, and now it's like on computers, so many things run in the web now. It's like everything flipped. Native apps, which were once the go-to on computers, are now the go-to on phones. And web apps, which were once the go-to on phones, are now the go-to on computers. So I was just scrolling through the web store and I happened upon a, I believe it's just a Chrome extension called Tabby Cat, which is interesting because I actually have a Tabby. He's actually right next to me eating right now. So if you hear crunching, that's him. <laughs> yeah. Um, furry Pocky. Oh. I like Pocky, Pocky's good. Uh, yeah, let's add it to Chrome. So I guess each time you open up a new tab, you get like a cute animal that pops up. <laughs> it's called Tabby Cat, apparently. Um, okay, so let's try it. Doobie Cheery, oh, it's animated. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Booby Cheerio, is that how you pronounce it? Oh, Doobie, yeah, Doobie. <laughs> Back to the Doobie. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of cute. I like that. Oh, 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 he mean. Oh, he mean. Lovely cookie. <laughs> okay, that's kind of a scoopy dinosaur. <laughs> oh, so there's a full screen button right on the keyboard. That's cool. And, oh, um, oh, that's like, um, it's like an expose window switcher, kind of like in Mac OS or Windows. That's cool, you got like a little window switcher there and you got a full screen button, cool. Here's those little keyboard shortcuts I was talking about earlier. And I must say, I like how there's a little light on the power button here. Just a nice little touch. Oh man, I can't handle the cuteness of Glittery Bella! Yeah, that's a she, that's a cute one. She spilled her ice cream, aw. Gotta, gotta get your ice cream back. So yeah, I'm calling this a win. It was pretty simple to reset this thing and get my own stuff on there, so I'm sure the other owner will be able to do that easily too. Thanks Google for making it easy. Well, let me know what you think guys about Chrome OS and Chromebooks in general. I'm kind of new to them, never used them before today, but I'm interested in your thoughts. So feel free to drop me a line down below. Let's shut this bad boy down. Whoosh, fade to white. That was pretty flawless and simple. I think we're really defeating the curse now. That was an easy one. Thanks for sticking with me. Catch the crazy and pass it on.